वेलकम दिस इज द कोर्स ऑफ एंट्रप्रिन स्पेशल ओस्टर्न मिल्की मशरूम कल्टिवेशन ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम इन दिस लेसन यू विल लर्न अबाउट द कोर्स ओरिएंटेशन एंड द चैप्टर्स एंड अबाउट द कोर्स करिकुलम हाउ यू शुड गो अहेड एंड अबाउट द कोर्स एंड आफ्टर द कोर्स हाउ वी विल प्रोसीड टूवर्ड्स द बिजनेस लेट्स बिगिन दिस कोर्स हैज बीन डिवाइडेड इन टू मल्टीपल चैप्टर्स अकॉर्डिंग टू डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ लेसन्स so the first thing is that you must complete each and every chapter and please don't skip uh, from one chapter to another it will be very beneficial to you if you just uh, carry out one chapter and after another all the course chapters are covered uh, in bilingual hindi and english so in most of the chapters are in fact complete in english also so if you are having any problem or any difficulty you can just let us know Also in the last chapter there is a chapter named doubt clearing session there is a form which you can always fill i would suggest you to fill it out uh, very often whenever you face any doubt or any uh, confusion regarding any content or when you are performing your practical classes or even you are when you are come uh, cultivating your mushrooms so in that case you can always reach out uh, with your doubts and we will discuss it in group session or in direct one and one live sessions so this chapter uh, chapter 1 it's the course orientation here what happens is that you learn about this course and various parameters and things about this course then there is chapter why uh, grow mushrooms here you will learn everything about the importance of mushrooms and why we should be growing it eventually if you may not even uh, understand that why everything is important but yes every lesson is important either you will be uh, needing it to convey to your customers or also to understand the scientific things behind the mushroom you must learn every aspect of it so uh, the third chapter is can we meet the world's growing demand for food and how does the mushroom is related to it the mushroom economics and then the chapter understanding fungi and their role here you will learn everything in scientific manner what's the role of the fungi and then the mushroom kingdom the various kingdoms of the planets and where does the mushroom kingdom stands and then the life cycle of the mushroom its growth parameters and each and everything about it and then the role of light in mushroom cultivations there are often confusion among us that either we should keep our lights or it should be cultivated in in dark or what actually it's a mixture of both so everything about that is discussed in this chapter then introduction to the oyster mushroom uh, actually this course you are dealing with is a combo course it's about the oyster mushroom as well as milky mushroom so both the mushrooms are quite good and they complement each other because milky mushroom can be cultivated in summer easily and there are oyster mushrooms which are actually very flexible they have a wide varieties of uh, strains in among them also some can be cultivated like king during the winter and in the summer month you can cultivate the other mushrooms like pink mushroom but eventually none of the oyster mushrooms can be cultivated above 30 degree if you go beyond that they will start rotting and the, you will have difficulties and problems so there is the main factor but the substrate and everything is similar for oyster and milky and the main difference will be of the casing and the climate control so i would suggest you to at first complete the lessons of the oyster mushroom first and then go Uh, with the milky mushroom that will give you a better perspective and idea why because almost 80% of the things are similar for oyster and milky so let's continue the introduction to the oyster mushrooms here you will get introduced to it then the pleuritus oestatus family there are vast varieties of mushroom like pink golden uh, sajar kaju florida pleuritus oestatus pleuritus pulmoris so several varieties of them the biological species of oyster mushrooms uh, these are the scientific papers you should go through them medicinal and nutritional values of oyster mushrooms they are very important uh, and then after preparation for commercial cultivation what we, uh, steps we should take how to approach the uh, commercial cultivation and then the chapter dealing with setting up mushroom growing room how we should set up what's the approach and there are different approach so first approach and then second approach you can go through chapters one by one you will understand how to cultivate actually what happens for the mushrooms and different mini mushroom growing chapter this uh, unit deals with various kinds of setup you can easily uh, implement in your home or small mini farm like martha chamber or the hydroponic tent so these kind of things you will learn here and after that fruiting room growing conditions what should be the growing room conditions how to maintain that 
and then temperature management this chapter is also very important because ultimately during the summer time or in extreme weather when the winter comes uh, we do need to understand the te- temperature and how to maintain that so several tips and tricks are there and just go through everything and uh, cooling solutions for the new structures cooling solution for the existing structures and then humidity management here you will learn about the various ways you can easily maintain the humidity of the farm and the mushroom spawn here you will learn about the spawn and spawn making cultures and etc and then the mushroom substrate substrate is just like uh, soil for soil for the plants substrate is actually main food source for the mushrooms also their house so substrate is very important you will learn about substrate here and one uh, important thing i would like to point to that uh, substrates are similar for oyster and milky there are several varieties of substrates for oyster mushrooms uh, which can be grown but mainly it is uh, grown on paddy straw and wheat straw but it can be also grown in corn cobs paper sawdust etc so one by one you will learn everything and how to uh, ready your substrate and after that learning the sterilization and pasteurization technology then the spent mushroom substrate what to do about uh, the substrate how to manage them post harvest how to just dispose them or reuse them uh, the this lesson co- covers those things supplements and their role how does supplement plays a critical role in mushroom cultivation how it can affect your growth parameters then inoculation procedure here you will learn about the techniques which you have to use for mixing the substrate with the spawn and then the incubation fruiting chamber then harvesting post harvesting and here the chapter of food processing here everything about the food processing uh, preserving packaging and then the chapter of pest and disease management is very important because here we have discussed everything about prevention and cure so as you have to understand that in mushroom cultivation the main thing will be that how good you are produ- producing but as well as uh, continuously safeguarding your crops from various diseases and pests so this lesson is also very important marketing lesson and premium ebooks these this is very important section for you uh, please go through this first book uh, oyster mushroom cultivation premium ebook this is a very book and you will learn everything about the oyster mushroom cultivation this is then there are introduction to the marketing then agriculture marketing direct marketing tools digital marketing tools like for cultivation and everything it's fine but also marketing aspect is very good and important so in digital times you have to understand the marketing technologies now and how to go for that and the mushroom cultivator practical guide please read this book completely because here you will learn everything about mushroom cultivation at home and it doesn't covers only oyster it covers a lot of varieties of different mushrooms as well so it will be very interesting book for you and how to write a business plan and then the mushroom guide and identification you will be able to identify a lot varieties of mushroom so how to identify what's the scientific approach towards them about the foraging and then the mycelium running this is again a very good book uh, here you will understand how mycelium impacts the whole planet and ecosystem and everything about mycelium actually in mushroom cultivation more than mushroom we have to understand the mycelium because if we identify and know the role of the mycelium then its fruiting bodies which are the mushrooms actually uh, commercially desirable desirable for us but mycelium is also very desirable uh, mycelium's are nowadays used for several things like cleaning the toxic waste and also you can produce uh, or create actually products like furniture also there are several food supplements which are c- c- created using mycelium so this mycelium running book is very interesting you should read it and then the step by step instruction about uh, facebook youtube instagram twitter pinterest this kind of digital marketing lessons are here so it covers uh, there are several books like think and grow rich is that poor dad time management why because these things actually are essential for business in business we also need to have full control over management so management is also essential so it's an holistic uh, course here you have to understand each and every aspect of cultivation as well as uh, management of the self management of the uh, staff and good good hygiene behaviors everything in the bonus study material uh, you will get uh, further ebooks and research papers regarding varieties of mushrooms new methods of sterilization method of increasing the biological efficiency and these are the experiments with pyrotus erinji like the king oyster mushrooms uh, can also be grown on straw also so there are several things to learn 
as much as you learn the better you become because in cultivation especially in mushroom cultivation the base the main pillars of the successful farming is the knowledge and knowledge cannot be just uh, gained in one day you have to invest several days in this course and understand each and every aspect of it uh, i will suggest you to maintain a diary and keep notes of all the things which you find very essential for you and then the webinar in this chapter you have to go through all the webinars there are several webinars also several of them covered by uh, various doctorate professors from the universities so there you will also learn about mushroom cultivation and marketing webinar on the food production webinar on oyster mushrooms technical points so there are different ways several different ways for one single thing so when you go through all the webinars and all the learning materials you also may uh, come up with different approach of yours which is suitable for you so please go through all of them then there are chapters and uh, notes about the king oyster mushroom organic oyster cultivation and several of them several uh, oyster mushroom footing bag hanging procedures several tricks and tips and these lessons are not limited they keep on increasing so please often uh, revisit them refresh your home page often at least once a week farm management and live classes here you will understand various technology and ways how you should maintain your farm temperature and various parameters milky mushroom cultivation then once you cover all the things about the oyster mushroom you should jump on milky mushroom cultivation chapters here everything about the calisai bendekia the main difference between oyster mushroom and milky mushroom as i have already told you it's about the casing so the role of casing how to develop the casing soil how to maintain the temperature and atmosphere of the milky mushroom which is above 30 degree so everything about it is uh, it is covered in this lesson so you will be able to know everything about the milky mushrooms and just remember one thing whatever applies to oyster mushrooms do also applies to milky mushrooms so whatever pest and disease whatever uh, management and post harvest procedure whatever sterilization and pasteurization methods were applicable to oysters are also applicable to milky so go through this uh, milky cultivation also but after the oyster mushroom cultivation and uh, in this chapter which is named practical assignment oyster mushroom here you will get all the details of the practical step by step once you reach the uh, receive the spawn which you will get as a uh, as a combo kit uh, along with this course so whenever you get it the first thing have to be like uh, if you are already ready if you have already covered the course then it's fine you can just and jump and start your own cultivation process in the co in the kit you will get the spawns and pp bags and the substrate which can be anything any waste product you have to choose from nearby you have to arrange for that chop that or just clean that so you will uh, learn everything about how to use that in all these lessons but main factor will be that mm, you must be thoroughly already have gone through all most of the chapter so that you are ready for the practical and how to go for that here in this assignment practical assignment on oyster mushroom or practical assignment on milky mushroom you have to follow these steps secondly uh, when you receive the spawn please don't uh, keep the box unopened please open the box and store the spawns at a hygienic place and the temperature should be ambient a simple room temperature of 25 degree or below will be fine but if you are not planning to use the mushroom spawns uh, for at least 20 days or 30 days or more and then please uh, store them on fridge you can uh, you just don't uh, put in in deep freezer but on normal fridge refrigeration there you can store your small quantity of spawn which you can easily use for the next 3 to 6 months also if you desire but i will suggest you to just go for the practical it's easy you can just start cultivating and harvesting your mushroom right where you are sitting right now it's quite easy and if you even commit some mistake just share the lessons with us if you fail then we will again send you the thing but main thing will be you should have the knowledge and as well as the experience so please cover all the lessons and also complete the practical assignment which is very essential and uh, here the last chapter is doubt clearing session here you have to share everything the weekly doubt q and a session will be held or we will directly call you and Uh, suggest you all and complete uh, clear all your doubts also you can share all your files and uh, photos of your farms or any disease if there are uh, in that uh, form which you have to fill for doubt clearing session 
and once you complete the course the main objective is not only buyback the main objective is that you should be a successful entrepreneur and a successful entrepreneur can uh, grow their mushrooms with very high quality with high precision with very low input cost and with higher yield that's our main objective secondly we will give uh, once you go through all the study materials and lessons you will be able to set up your own digital store and also you will have your own marketing lessons which i hope you will use and have your own market also because it's it's important that you also have your own effort but eventually uh, what you need to do is for contact farming once you cover complete all these things you will have to purchase spawn from us which we will give you at very good price and obviously we'll have good uh, quality spawns as well and when you cultivate your farm it is not important that you just directly go for big farms you can also start with uh, 10 kilogram of spawn and you can have 100 or 200 bags whichever you desire and eventually you can scale up in that manner you will be easily able to accommodate according to the market demand as well as your experience or if you just have the experience and you want to go big you can also go big but uh, in that scenario what happens is that in contact farming we discuss mutually and uh, your everything is planned and if you are having any doubt everything is cleared then you you purchase spawn and you cultivate your mushrooms and according to a location what we try is we give you several of the buyers nearby your places so that they can directly uh, uh, purchase all the fresh mushrooms from you so the best thing will be you can easily sell them at a good price at your local place but eventually if you're not able to do that what we do is that we act as a backup so uh, we do purchase dry mushrooms so whatever spawns you get and when you make dry mushrooms you have to be very uh, thoroughly uh, learned about it because quality will matter so please complete the course before venturing into the commercial uh, cultivation and i would suggest you to go for organic mushroom cultivation because that's the best thing it's healthy for the society as well as you so uh, go for organic farming and once you uh, cultivate your mushrooms and we will uh, negotiate the price right before your uh, farming because the price of the mushroom changes from season to season but rest assured the price which we will we will be offering will be very standard very good according to the market practice so uh, maybe per year the price changes it goes higher and higher and the price which we will be offering will be higher so but main factor is that we will be acting as a backup plan for you but we will try to give you or set your own market what happens is that when we are starting a farm the main doubt or main uh, stumbling things which we face is that we don't have any assured market and we just can't take a risk about venturing into a new kind of cultivation without having any assured market so what happens is that in this uh, cultivation training course the best thing is that you will have the backup of the bm mushroom we have a lot of uh, orders all across the globe so we will try to buy as much as mushroom from you so rest assured we will buy all the mushrooms but it won't be uh, nothing can beat if you're having your own market and if you're having your fresh customers waiting and queuing for their mushrooms so the best thing will be that uh, combination of both so we will mutually discuss and if you're having any doubt further about anything just post your question in the weekly doubt q a session and in further lessons we will discuss and also whenever we uh, conduct a webinar please attend those webinars and live classes and doubt sessions and in the community sections also you will um, you can post any doubt and queries also learn from the peers Thank you. I hope uh, you have a very nice and great mushroom career ahead. Thank you.